These two people are lying. I do not believe that they were already getting a divorce. What they failed to mention, the reason they were getting a divorce was because they were both having an affair with each other. So baby, when you ready, hit my line. Tell me what you want to do. I know you still am really do, do, do. Hey you guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to take time, as I always do, to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you're not already currently subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right now. Also, I do have another channel called Brandy Be Your VTV, and I am on Patreon.com. Navigate to the first comment pinned to the top to check that out. Also, like the video, you guys. Comment on the video. I want to hear your thoughts, so comment and like. Um, and now let's get into this juicy topic. In today's Celebrity Couple Toxic News, we are talking about Amy Robach and TJ Holmes, exes Marley Feiberg and Andrew Shu are dating as well. According to People Magazine, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes, exes Andrew Shu and Marley Feiberg have stepped out for the first time since the world learned they found love in each other amid their splits. In photos published Friday by the Daily Mail, the 56-year-old Melrose Place alum and the 45-year-old attorney were seen putting two cats into the back seat of Shu's green Jeep Wrangler. The couple were dressed in casual clothing. Shu had on a blue jacket, black pants, and black leather sneakers, while Feibig donned a black hoodie, light wash jeans, and white and green tennis shoes. The new couple could be seen in good spirits as they smiled and chatted while they seemingly packed their vehicle for a weekend getaway. The unlikely couple have reportedly been dating for around six months and bonded over the experience of seeing their marriages crumble so publicly when the scandalous affair was exposed in November of 2022. It turned into something else and they're connected over their values. It's bigger than the affair now a source said of the new relationship. You guys, this is so toxic. Here's how people are reacting. Someone says this, these were probably open relationships. They just didn't magically trade partners. They've been driving each other's bumper cars for a while. It's Hollywood, oh well. Someone else said, Andrew and Marley are the winners here. Somebody else said, trading places. Others said this, Less confusing for the kids, at least they'll always be with both parents, haha. Ha. Someone else said, ah well, that worked out for everyone. Someone else said, not messy at all, carry on. What a turn of events, you guys. I am gagging at this story. This is definitely a shock. I did not think that this would happen because I actually reported on Amy and TJ's affair when that news broke last year. I, I'm gagging even more at Amy and TJ defending their cheating ways. Listen to this nonsense on the, a new podcast that they now have together. We have not said this. Um, I'm in love with this woman and she's in love with me. And we are planning a life together. November 30th is the day. Uh, November 30th, 2022 was the day that we were, and this is very important, we were outed. We were outed. We were outed. Um, we were not a, caught. By a publication that outed us. And so to be clear, we were outed our, <laughs> as being in a relationship, but everyone else thought we were being outed as adulterers, um, being outed as cheating on our spouses. And, and it wasn't the case because the odd thing is that the day those pictures were taken and the, the day that article was released that outed us, we had both, at that point, been, were in divorce proceedings. Yes, we had attorneys, mediators. We were in the middle of divorces. Andy, everyone in my tight circle knew I was getting divorced. I took my ring off uh, early August. It was very clear to anyone who knew me that I was in the middle of the, a divorce. TJ is a much more private person than me and just chose to keep that to himself. But. It was hard because anyone who was a viewer, anyone outside of a very small circle didn't know 
that either one of us were getting divorced. So that was one of the challenges we had in the beginning. So we were trying to clear everything up. We're the folks who lost the jobs we love because we love each other. And that is bottom line. And that is why we are here now. A lot of you understand that life, love, marriage, relationships can be messy. And usually are. I think mm -hmm. in the end, all of us are always rooting for love. And it doesn't always happen when you want it to happen, where <laughs> you want it to happen. And it's undeniable when it's real. And it's something you have to navigate. And it's not easy. And anyone who's lived enough life, yeah. I think if they're really honest with themselves, can attest to the fact that relationships are hard, they're messy, they're not perfect, but we have fought for love. And I can say that I've never been happier. I am with my best friend. I'm not gonna get cheesy. Here's how people are reacting to this news. Someone says this, these are two people who were outright having affairs and they are doing a podcast. Go away and be alone because you embarrassed yourselves and your families, gosh dang. Isn't anything sacred anymore? Others said this, big step down from national television to podcast. Amy Robach used to be 2020 co-anchor and GMA3 anchor also. She and TJ wife Marley were friends and she get with her man. How a woman do that? No one at ABC respect that. They don't want them around. That's why they get rid of them. Someone else said, so now you think we want to listen to the drama of your cheating hearts? Nah, I'll pass. I strive to lead a clean, no secrets life. And finally, others said this, one would have to wonder though, what caused Amy and TJ both to divorce their spouses? The timing of them both wanting to divorce is ironic, don't you think? Someone else said, someone should give a podcast to their exes who are now in love. That's something I'd actually listen to. Someone else said, sorry, I have no sympathy for these two. These two people are lying. I do not believe that they were already getting a divorce. What they failed to mention, the reason they were getting a divorce was because they were both having an affair with each other. Just two people continuing to be narcissistic. I do not think this relationship will last. And I'm honestly rooting for Marley and Andrew. I wouldn't, um, wouldn't it be something if Amy and TJ broke up and Marley and Andrew got married? Now that would be karma at its finest. But anyways, you guys, what did you think of today's celebrity couple toxic news? Do you believe Amy and TJ just innocently both got a divorce and it wasn't because they were having an affair with each other? How do you feel about the exes Marley and Andrew now dating. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next. Bye. Hi guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.